just learned that this is what happens when you push the bash button on the ground. I am mildly entertained. Hello, everyone. This is Quiversy, and welcome back to some more of Ori in the Blind Forest. Last time we made our way through the Misty Woods uh, to find the Gumon Seal, which we did after rekindling the Shrouded Lantern. This thing right here. And now we have to make our way to the Forlorn Ruins. So we gotta go down the big pit where we got Kuro's Feather from. Yep. Yeah, this place might be a lot less terrifying. A lot less terrifying now, but it's still pretty terrifying. Just because of the nature of the creatures here. Whoa, that insta-killed it! I wasn't sure that would even hurt the Lyron, let alone murder it. Jeez. Okay, well, um... Yeah, we're gonna go... Yeah. And... I'd like, if possible... There we go. I want to get back up here. There we go. There, now I've got my save point back at uh, the well. So, I'm coming into this with full power. Also, wow, hold on a minute. That's, that's very loud. Let's turn that down. There, that's better. That waterfall sound was just way too loud. Man, I wish I could just turn it down and not the other game sounds, because the other sounds were fine, but now it's... I just can't hear anything. But I'd rather have that than... just going deaf. Why is the sound balancing here so bad? Like, I do not get it. Oh, well. I want to use that. There we go. Oh, jeez. These things are kind of terrifying. <laughs> right, please. Yes. Right back in your mouth. And then I die. This might take me a minute. Okay, that thing's dead. I'm gonna go over here, grab that. Heal. I'm gonna also put that down just so I don't have to fall every time. Yeah, there we go. I want to kill the Leyron. Okay. There. There we go. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't so bad. Okay, moving on. More of these dang frogs. I am not a fan. Okay. It sounds like it's getting um Sounds like the sound's getting better, so I'm gonna turn it back up. All right. Oh. I was trying to just hold up. Hmm. Oh, right, I almost forgot I can climb now. So, if I were to, ah, dang it. Okay, fine, let's just... Hate! Like that! There we go! Oh, come on! Wait, I can make a soul link up here? Oh. No, it just does that. 
I guess I can't go there. Well, that's a bummer. I really can't wait till I find out how to break through horizontal cracked walls. Like, I need to be able to do a side slam or something. Clearly. I have almost got myself another ability point, which will bring me up to three. All right, so. Ultra Soul Link would give me two heals. But I think I should probably start going down this line a bit. <gasps> yeah, I shouldn't have been neglecting this for so long. We're gonna start going down the combat tree a little bit. There we go, down we slam. All right, I'm gonna need one of the, you, one of the green Lairons. Thank you. Get that. And if we keep going this way, we should eventually reach... Ugh, there we are. Oh, great. Ugh, please bounce. Maybe if I aim a little higher. Yes! Oh, and that opens another ability cell door. Sweet! Hey, buddy! Ole! I didn't know lay hard, hard enough. Well, um, okay, I just gotta do it again. Get the map thingy. Ignore you. Doggone it. Ugh, I don't like these insta-kill enemies. Okay, this time, as soon as I get the thing, that, I'm saving. Oh, right, solid ground. There we go. All right, Leron, down here and, ole! That works. Wasn't sure if that would work. Oh, oh no. Uh, boy. Buddy. Oi. Yeah! Okay, that was actually not that bad. And now, map fragment. Okay. We have our path. Looks like it's not that far to get to the Forlorn Ruins. So that's reassuring. And I'm just going to go ahead and get that now. So next is Ultra Light Burst. Increases. Ooh. Okay, making the Light Burst stronger? That seems like a very good idea. Because right now it's not that strong. And it does still cost a uh, soul energy. But its range and ability to aim with is such a big plus that to make it useful, heck yeah. Also, we still have another map fragment. Like, there were two here. Is there gonna be like another map in the Forlorn Ruins? Ah. I don't like these things. Woo! But I did like the ability to target two enemies at once. That was nice. Ugh, these are like making ice crystals. Functionally, they're identical to the purple goop thorns, but they look neat. Oh yeah, there's like snow and ice everywhere. Is this gonna be an ice dungeon? Ugh, man. I just have such a hard time with the projectiles that create hazards. Okay, let's just, just be careful. Just be careful. You know what? Let's uh, get rid of you, and then get rid of you. Thank you for bouncing into the thorns like a dumb. 
Okay. So I'm getting close. There's a Lairon. Come on. Come on. Oh. Not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna do this. Eh! Okay. Huh. That wall had a bit of a green goopy on it. Like I could break it with a corrupted Lairon. That certainly is odd. Well, let's get rid of this thing. This too. Huh. Looks like my spirit flame wants to try and target it. And this thing is also regenerating rather rapidly, which is, uh... More than a little concerning. Hmm. There's something up with that smoking bit of wood. Oh, and there's the corrupted lay rod. Okay. But how would you get over here to make use of it to break through that barrier? This area just constantly makes me feel like I'm going backwards. When, but at this point, it's I. I think it's clear that I'm not. Okay, so what's the deal with this? I have no idea. I have, I have no idea. I do not understand why that's there. But the map doesn't show anything, so I'm going to trust that it's fine. I'm finally getting used to using the uh, light burst. Okay, so the ruins were once lush and green. Got it. I have no explanation for why I thought that was a good idea. Instead, I'm going to see if there's a way for me to get up. Up there. No? No, no, you're supposed to... I think that's why this guy respawns. You're supposed to use him to get up here. How strange. Either way, that's a lot of nonsense I need to redo, so I'm just going to take care of that real quick and meet you back where the spirit tree talks to us. Okay. This time, let's not jump down the bottomless pit. Ugh. Those who didn't escape, huh? That makes this place sound quite ominous. In we go. Forlorn Ruins. The Forlorn Ruins. Here's where the Kumon live. They build miraculous structures and infuse them with the light of the spirit tree, which keeps them safe. The Kumon. Oh no! These Gumon were frozen, unable to escape! When the element of winds lost its light, these ruins must have turned into their grave. They all look like Gumo. They were his people. They were all nice. I can't save, which is concerning. That, yeah, that's what I thought. Red means hot. Hot means pain. Um. The Gumon were crafty inventors. They had foreseen a bright future that never came. Look at this light vessel. They were able to store the light of the spirit tree within. I think the light wants out. Oh. And now I have the light with me. I don't know if it's safe to go over those with the light, but I have the light. Use the light vessel to walk over Gumon structures without taking damage. Oh! 
Um. Oh, this is disorienting. I should mention, I am still holding left to go either up or right. And to me, that makes this way worse. Oh, no. Oh, mercy. This is going to be a thing. Honestly, I kind of want to stop. But I can't save. I need to get enough soul energy to save. Oh, this is... Uh, this is a heck of a preview of what's to come. And I am not liking how this anti-gravity mechanic is forging itself. Let's just kill that thing down there, please. Come on. Okay, and when I set it down, then I lose the anti-gravity. I figured it was because of this. Oh my. Hurry, 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 hurry! Okay. Uh, I'm not allowed to put the light down. Which means I can't dash, bash, double jump, slam, any of that. All I've got is my spirit flame. Yeah. Like, when I'm on the ceiling, it's mirrored controls. Oh, gone it. Wait. Hold on. <sighs> yes, please. Give me the light. I'm kind of glad I died. We should be able to jump over this. Yup. Now I can go up here. I can see up there. There's a bit of an invisible wall. Look at that. There's something here. All right, drop the thingy. And I got myself a save power. Oh, thank you. So, yeah. Got ourselves a bit of a preview of what this place is like. Next time on Ori in the Blind Forest. Anti-gravity shenanigans in the frozen remains of the Gumon's home. What the heck? This place is really cool, though. I'm not gonna lie. This, this place is awesome. I'm looking forward to exploring it. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.